Hey Taurus Seeker, welcome back to the Existential Shift with Morgaine. So happy to have you here. This will be your February Tarot Scope. Happy Valentine's. But time is fluid. I don't care when this is that you're watching this. If you are intuitively guided here, you can take it. Time is man-made anyway. Our brain can't fathom this eternity, this infinite everything. So we compartmentalize and time. We time things. It makes us feel more in control even though we have no control. And someone there is sitting mumbling, free choice, yeah. But what if you're fighting your soul? Huh? What if the destiny and the karma and everything that you feel like you have the ability to change, your monkey mind thinks can change? You're actually battling choices that your soul, soul made, the free choice of your higher self before it came to this life to be like, okay, I need to study ABC, repent for EFG and so on. I don't know if that is in fact the mechanism as we see it. And then do you have free choice or did you yourself, the higher parts of you, have already established a route? I think, I think the portals that we need to pass are determined and our free choice comes in when it comes to are we walking through the portal or are we sticking around staring at it or turning our back to it and then energy has to some way somehow turn us right back to our route then it's a detour right but you're still ending up in the same portal again facing the same choice red pill blue pill kind of thing I see the red pill, blue pill, blue pill matrix, in case you're not familiar. Please be familiar. If not, go do your homework. <laughs> um, watch matrix. But I feel like from the biggest choices to the smallest choices, we are constantly encountering red pill, blue pill. Do we want to stay stagnant and in denial in a, or in, and in our comfort zone? Or do we want to act upon an opportunity to expand the consciousness and step up to the game. I recently stepped up. I went through the hardest time of my life. Well, that can be competed with former past hardest times of my life. <laughs> Never mind. Went through a very hard time and with or without hope, with or without will, with or without joy, I kept moving. Crawling sometimes, yes, but still moving. And then you wake up one morning, in my case this morning. What do you know? I'm looking, I'm staring at the horizon. I'm up. I did it. Did you do it, Taurus? Are you facing the opportunity to do it? Are you in the process? Either way, keep going. I know I don't need to tell you this. You're Taurus. You're strong as fuck. Excuse my language. Strong as fuck. Okay. Let's get to the cards, shall we? Spirit, tarot. After tarot, by the way. Love this deck. What do we have to say to Taurus for February? Okay. First four cards out. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Justice, Nine of Pentacles. It's exa it's just they're just concluding everything I just said, literally. With the pain with or without joy, with or without will, with or without hope, doing what is necessary, cutting through the flesh, <laughs> not for you, doing the work, being accurate, being um, persistence, page of pentacles, and doing what needs to be done, and stepping up. 
A job well done is being rewarded, Taurus. Some of you are reaching the end of a, um, um, a court case entanglement, something that may have went on for a while and you've been handling or you had a lawyer handling or anything of that sort. You're either winning it or freed of it. This could be a divorce settlement. This could be, maybe you had a little bit of a, um, uncertainty when it comes to an inheritance. It's being sorted out. Something that potentially has started, started around September, October. reaching its conclusion. This could be a karmic lesson that you were just a very good student, Taurus, and now you're being rewarded. You could have been a very, very, very good student, the Page of Pentacles with the Justice. It's either a, very, a, a great uh, law student or a great karmic student learning the lesson one after another, after another, after another, just stepping through the portal, stepping through the portal, stepping through the portal, whether you liked it or not. If you didn't do it, Taurus, now is the time. Let me tell you something about yesterday. January 31st um, is said to have been, January 31st, 2019, is said to have been a portal between the old world and the new world. Allegedly, I'm feeling it as well, so I don't know if alleged, allegedly in my case, but theoretically, objectively, it's allegedly, whatever. Um, the world has been divided into two, not in physicality, but energetically. There's those of us who've stepped into the new world consciousness, and there's those of us who, from fear or from uh, spiritual laziness or whatever, uh, has been left behind. Circumstances are not an excuse. So if you feel like you haven't been stepping up and you, you start telling me to the camera, to the screen, oh, but this happened and that, and that's not a reason, that's not it's an excuse, not acceptable it's never too late to start now um, but th that's the thing there's always circumstances when you sign into school and you start learning there will always be exams right it's not going away those are the circumstances in our life so yes some of us have tougher circumstances and we start way back in the back but that just shows that when we start pushing through these circumstances and move faster and stronger we will actually strengthen and become faster because it's a muscle that needs to be trained right so if you start further back you have the opportunity to train harder to work harder stronger and go faster so you develop more skill than those who had more privilege, for example. Sometimes the circumstances that seem impossible and challenging and seemingly slowing us down, they're the ones that are actually made to empower us and help us reach our full potential. Souls that come into this lifetime, to this planet, to this living existence, to expand a consciousness, to have a specific destiny. They need to be able to hold on to the part, right? To live up to the part. So they have to obtain knowledge, obtain skill. How does that happen? Through circumstances, situations, events, good and bad. Not just fearful, also, you know, miraculous. Like, you, you need to have inspiration to expand your consciousness, not just, not just trauma. Inspiration, right? I saw a video today of uh, Jason Silva, who spoke of, you know, how, yes, um, challenges and trauma can empower us, but what about beauty? What if... He said that what if instead of the lens of fear that we um, we wear due to traumatic circumstances, right? We wear glasses and like we, we view the world from a 
from, from, a, from a state of mind, from a point of view of fear, right? If that happens to me then, if that was the experience then, then this new thing might be the same thing because this and that reminds me of, you know, projection. So that can also really limit us, debilitate us, yeah? If nothing is new and nothing is full of potential rather than just a, an imitation of the painful past and we are constantly fearful and paralyzed. It's kind of sad and definitely not expanding. So what about beauty? You know, staring at the sky like I am right now and being inspired. I feel like it's a combination of both Taurus and we need to learn how to sometimes learn from this and sometimes learn from this and have the set of experiences that we go through, a combination of a little bit of both, to not fear this too much, but to not avoid beauty too much. Hmm? From these cards, some of you have been really integrating the lessons, and you're now going to be rewarded. This could be financial reward. A nine of pentacles is very financial. It's very stable. But this could be, you know, eight, after eight of pentacles, after hard work, after just studying and now attaining knowledge or atten, attaining, um, this could be a scholarship, what I'm seeing here, um, but also a diploma. So whatever this is for you, Taurus, congratulations. Let's have four more cards. Okay. The Emperor in the reverse. I did shuffle them in the reverse. I'm going to leave them in the reverse. I don't like the Emperor in the reverse. I want to see more cards. Two of Cups in the upright. Wow. Two of Cups in the upright and the Magician in the reverse. So let's see it like that. Hmm. Interesting. Ah. Ladies, those of you who have been trying to manifest allegedly from free will, but in fact from the subconscious, your perfect man, when in fact it wasn't the perfect man, just imitation of your experience from childhood, from father figures. You are allowing it, or something is allowing you to turn upside down and be let go of. And that makes room for an actual ideal partnership with an actual perfect man. Did, did that make any sense? Did you, did, you, did, you, did you understand what I just said? If you're a man watching this, this might be the challenge of the woman you're thinking of. But as I can see, no longer a challenge. Um, daddy issues or... Actually, it doesn't even have to be daddy issues. It could be... We're all... Um, Oedipus and uh, Electra, right? There's the Electra complex and there's Oedipus uh, complex. Oedipus uh, kept... Um, you know, in love with his mother, so kept repeating connections. You, when you keep repeating connections in your life with women, who reminds you of your mother? And Electra is the same, but the opposite with her father. So that psychological aspect is being relieved, and from there, the the need to manifest that type of figure in your life, the magician in the reverse. Because some of you who were watching, um, you had such a strong, strict mechanism as to who is your ideal partner and whether you were aware of it or not it came from the subconscious of your childhood parents and fun stuff um, and you've been trying to manifest that or maybe you just you didn't know you're manifesting it because watch my um if you haven't yet true secrets of manifestation it's on my playlist of the 13th element and I speak there of how you truly manifest. It's not from writing a list and like, or putting a picture and having your conscious want, wanting it. 
the subconscious is the thing that actually has the power to manifest. So everything we shove down to the subconscious is what we manifest. So everything you hate and in denial and refuse to work on, so you just kind of shove it in, shove it in, don't, don't express, don't talk about, don't heal, don't um, uh, process, you just shove it down. So energy doesn't go away. Uh, you know, it stays there, it festers, and it's, it's just kind of in, in the little uh, cycles of the clock clicking top clock that is your brain are turning around in the subconscious and turning turning the bigger cir circles around and the, the clock the, the the reality of your matrix your reality is shifting in accordance Carl Jung I, see, I think I quoted it before Carl Jung said until you make your subconscious your conscious it will rule your life and you will call it fate so many of you have been manifesting from your subconscious wrong stuff wrong connections and maybe that's the thing that you've been putting down to rest with the ten of swords and the justice maybe that is the lesson that you've integrated really really well and look what it's making room for something sweet and simple and right taurus happy valentine's for sure Better one sweet partner from the minor arcana than two grand potential partners from the major arcana that are in the reverse. This is real. This is fantasy, illusion, fear, past, potential future. This is so real. One more card and then we'll see the cards. One more card for Taurus. Thank you. Nine of Wands in the upright. Hmm. And it's right under the Nine of Pentacles. I need one more. Show me more, please, for Taurus for February. Thank you. Two of Swords, Four of Wands, King of Swords. I feel like this King of Swords might be this individual here, potentially. Let's look. Also, some of you, let's, let's just see this. You like my round table? <laughs> table. Um, those of you who feel like you've been um, treated unjustly or someone was trying to manipulate the system um, in order to win something, those of you who are getting a divorce could be the ex who was trying to uh, portray you wrong, but they ended up just portraying themselves wrong and backfired. If you did so, then it will backfire at you. You know, put yourself in the narrative. But that is reaching its end. If it's still a little bit there, hold on, Taurus. I do see you victorious. This can also be um, what you would call it. I forgot the word. When, um, you know, when you battle for for uh, children, for who stays in control. I forget the name. I forget how you refer to it. Custody. Sorry custody. I do see it being resolved in a very proper way. And speaking of Electra and Oedipus, this is Electra.
constantly repeating her father. But this is gone, as we said. And this guy is in its upright. Something very accurate. It's like someone is breaking you is breaking through the your mechanism. Okay, they're like showing you a different way. You don't have to go about things the way you went went about so far. And you know, I don't I don't like to give this type of predictions, most especially when it comes to general readings. So guys, please take this, you know, lightly and um, if you want to be certain that this is your situation, you're, you're more than welcome to come to a, a private reading, link below if you want to book a session with me. Um, but this seems like the next one or the current one that feels different than, than how it always felt is the, is the one, okay? And if you recently went through a divorce, the next one will be sweeter. Maybe you've met someone through the process. Um, could be someone that helped you through the custody. Could be a lawyer that helped you, you know, or, or a friend that was around. If you went through a very difficult time, if there was a friend around that was just there, uh, they seem very prominent. This could be the real deal, a very, very good, stable partnership. Hmm. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you your extended, part of it, I mean, and then I'm going to pull out a rune, a message from the runes for you. Um, in the extended, I will have a Valentine's Day special, so I will do a Celtic cross that is special for love. Valentine's, but before that I will do what I do right now, which is taking the uh, numerical repetition of the card. So I have two nines, and two fours, and two twos, and let's see, and I'm going to keep the Magician and the justice, and then we will do this for the majors. Okay. So this will be the sacred numerology. I do Babylon numerology. It's a little, a little bit different than Pythagoras, but it's grand. So we will do the uh, this part and the extended, and then we'll talk about the narrative that comes from it and the meaning, the symbolism of the numbers and the repetitions. And then we will do the special Valentine's Day, a Celtic cross, a completely new shuffle. And then now I'm doing one rune, but in the extended I will do three runes. Okay, so let's ask for a rune. For my Taurus Seekers. Rune for Taurus for February. A room for, for Taurus to take with for February. I, I did the sack. You like it? <laughs> I actually also did the runes inside. One rune of guidance for my Taurus seekers for the month of February. Okay. Uruz. I will give you the meaning of Uruz in reverse and the meaning of Uruz in its upright. So Uruz in its upright is a force of nature. It's health, it's vitality, it's power, it's masculinity, it's action, it's movement. This says do. Now in the reverse, it's kind of similar because in the reverse, it, it says the same things, but it shows that someone has um, a lot of resistance and hesitance when it comes to act upon something. So this says to be careful from losing something because of fear or from losing something due to hesitance or lazy, uh, or emotional slash spiritual laziness because this is something that if you lose and time is ticking in this case whatever this is if you will lose it you I don't, I don't know if you'll have it back honestly 
Again, I don't like to determine things like that because these are general readings, but if it resonates with something that you really want to do, but you're scared of doing and you know it's the right thing, but you have a lot of what if, what ifs and or, or, or like the beginning of this uh, video where I spoke of projections and you know implementing the past on the present as opposed to just learning from it. So this is somewhat this serves as somewhat of a warning who was in the reverse to not lose an opportunity. And who is in its upright means to take advantage of a very good opportunity that will come along and to be an active force as opposed to a passive non-force. Okay, so this is the message from the runes. Ooh, this could be the letter U, by the way, in case it's relevant in any way. Okay, 229944. Four. All right, guys, so this is the beginning of your extended. Thank you so, so much for being here. Um, I love you guys deeply. I will see you in a second. Link below to your extended. Um, and oh, by the way, if you want to study tarot, I have tarot master class. It's online classes. Every tarot has uh, a video. I, I'm still uploading. There's more to come, but you can purchase them one by one. So you can either go through an easy process or you can go through a deep process depending on how many cards you want to know, learn. Explanation um, is also in the link below, tarot master class. So check that one out. I'd love to see you for a private reading. I love you guys very much. Um, and welcome back home to the existential shift. Bye for now.